my little pony, my little pony. Adventure. Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you're all my very best friends?
Roxy's gonna go get the square and then we'll take all your money. <laughs> So are we just we're waiting for the, the card or should we? She'll be back, we can start. Okay. You know, the, the MLP gang deal with kind of can sometimes be, you know, go 
going into like being a young adult. Patient, sharing. And, but you have to keep that childlike innocence to it. So when you were approaching your voices, you know, did you, were you channeling like one of your friend's kids or nieces or nephews or did you just kind of do a whole like, I'm going to try it this way. Now I'm going to try it this way. Maybe this way. It's kind of what we do. <laughs> For uh, Applejack, I, I tried to make her somewhere between Miley Cyrus and, um, and Reba McIntyre. So, uh, I found her just like, sat somewhere in between, you know? <laughs> what about Derpy who... Get fan letters from these gentlemen or from their parents. 
you know, what's the first thing that goes through your mind? Well, honestly, it's why we made the documentary, because through our conventions, we've met so many amazing bronies, and there's like hot army bronies with like Pinkie Pie tattoos singing Whoa! songs. <laughs> You know, it's from little kids to older guys and girls, and we've never had any bad experiences with them. They're the loveliest fandom, and of course, every fandom has like weird people, but that's every fandom. And I personally love the weird in this fandom, and I also love that it's brought communities and people together. Like you say, a lot of people have some level of Asperger's, and say this show has helped me communicate. It's helped me make friends. It's helped me not be depressed, and I'm so proud to be a part of that and I really really do love this community. But, um Uh, what in tarnation? They're, they're 
this fancy smancy thing. Oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> and fun tarnation. There's this fancy schmancy thing called prom coming up, and you know what it? <laughs> you know what it be? Doggone fun. <laughs> Tip tap. What would be doggone fun, Rashi? Oh, um, uh, Disney. Oh, um, just every part of it. Oh, the gowns, the ballroom, the Queen Mary. The Queen Mary. Is she the Queen? <laughs> But there's a small problem. All the books say that it's customary for Mayor to have a date to escort her to these kinds of things, but I don't have one yet, and the clock is ticking! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
your characters? That's a good question. That's a good question. Tabitha? I 
shy. I'm thinking about grandpa. My name is Adam. Adam, and what would you like to ask the ladies? Adam! This is uh, a question for all of you. Look at them. They're going to answer for you. Good job. What is it like working with this chord? I don't know. I think Terry's the only one who's actually worked with him. Yeah, I mean, we, I, so John Delancey and I are in LA, so we don't get to work as a group recording. And I actually haven't recorded a session with him, so we don't know. But we assume he's pretty genius. I mean, yeah, he's pretty genius. He was great to work with on the documentary because he's an absolute doll. And I freaked out when I saw him on Breaking Bad. I was like, oh my god. I, was, I didn't even know he was on it because I like binged it. Did you guys know that? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, he was amazing. He's a really great guy.